Right, so how much does a 7K bike save you compared to a 400 pound bike? Now, both of us, me and Ted, my friend, cracked out a big 20 minute effort up the old tumble in Wales. Um, so you can see here, here's my watts per kilo. Um, well, actually it's not really. I was like 61 on the day, so, and he was about the same. So we're, we're kind of gonna go similar weight for that. So the main difference, uh, he might be a kilo heavier, but plus or minus the same. Um, and anyway, what we'll see is the kind of difference between the two bikes. So you can see here, like, first of all, 18.4K an hour, so went significantly further than Ted uh, in the thing, which obviously means that, uh, like, there's actually quite a big difference. Like, if you look at the distance, 5.6 versus 6.1 kilometers, so 500 meters for plus or minus the same power. Now, you might say, oh, it's the power meter uncalibrated. Well, we did some very scientific calibration. When me and Ted rode next to each other, we got all of the variables um, so that I, you know, weighed myself before he weighed himself. <clears throat> we went on really steep climbs. So basically calibrated the power meter, looked at the difference, calculated what's per kilo for me with everything included and him. So we then calibrated his power meter on that. So no stress, power meter is literally perfectly calibrated. So the question is, yeah, like, big difference so we're talking 500 meters now you might say okay well that's not that useful let's have a look at time so that is true we can look at the tumble climb but actually we didn't do the whole thing because um i kind of start in the roundabout uh, a little bit earlier just in case um that we will there's any traffic going on so w what's better to look at is actually if we just go um on this segment here which is basically like man, most of the steep part of the, of the climb it's kind of like a decent thing so anyway if we go on to uh, this month, it should be there. So you can see here, like me and Ted both doing about uh, two watts plus or minus. Um, and you can see 30 second difference. Archie, absolute animal, cracked out 6.1 for 20. So strong, strong boy. Uh, watch out for the big man in some races in Europe. But anyway, so you can see here, like 40 seconds over 10 minutes is pretty decent. Uh, overall, it was about a minute that I put into Ted. So you can see like, it's a pretty decent difference. Now the question is like, where was some of the time taken? Now, if we kind of look at the bottom part, you can see like this first sort of four minutes or so, um, Ted was doing 28K an hour for 334 watts. Um, and if we look at kind of my part, it's, we can't do exactly the same, but uh, it's more or less the same part. You can see I was doing 317 watts and doing 32K an hour. So that is uh, obviously a big part of it, like on the flat. But on this segment here, when you look at the difference here, like we can see it's 9% difference. So it's pretty steep. So you wouldn't actually necessarily think that, um, think that the uh that the arrow would help so much and obviously it does but i think it does go to show that like it is mainly just like kind of weight difference so his bike i think is like nine a bit mine's like 7.6 so um like a fair amount of difference um maybe more actually and also just like the position and the efficiency of like he's on a nine speed chain and all the rest of it so it's kind of not the same i think his chain was waxed though so pretty similar in that but yeah like if you look at this kind of steep part here um 337 watts uh, for me on the steep part. If we look at if we look at Ted as well, uh, it was about this part here. You can see 334 watts, um, 13k an hour. Um, so like 11 minutes, 1043. So you can see it's like a decent, decent di dif uh, difference, but obviously not as big as the as the bottom one where I was doing way less power um, and actually going a lot faster. And then we can look at the kind of the slight. As I guess we can call it a false flat, uh, like 4% part in the t in the tumble. And then again, it's kind of interesting to see the speed difference. So again, you can see 317 watts kind of blew up on this part. Well, not blew up, I just struggled to put the power. 24k an hour, 332, 22k an hour. So that's pretty, again, pretty decisive on the flat. You can see the difference is far, far larger because I go quicker on way like 15 watts less. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the conclusion. How much time will you gain slash lose over um, an effort like this? Uh, well, we're kind of saying around a minute-ish, which is decent, um, but obviously it is kind of a, a big comparison. So should you go buy a really expensive bike? Uh, nah, I wouldn't necessarily say that, but I think it's something to think about that like, there is a difference, it's not obviously wild, but you could get most of the difference back by just spending a little bit more. Um, but yeah, uh, hopefully me and Ted, I think we'll go, go back in the summer. He'll be on his TCR, I'll be on the, uh, on the canyon, we'll see see what the difference is and hopefully I'll gain some watts and it will be good. But anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoy this quick little video. I'll see you in the next one.